Hey brothers and sisters, it's your girl Jazz Excess and I'm back with another video. And today I want to talk to you about the stress of being a single parent. This time of the year, like I'm really go through it. And with me being in school and my kids going back to school, it's so stressful. And to try to pay your rent and get the school supplies around like get school clothes school shoes haircuts hair braided whatever you need to get done for your kids it's very difficult and forget about it like the fact that you will have sports coming up your kid needs this your kid needs that they need new running shoes they need new um cleats for for football, you know, your daughter needs some new sneakers for cheerleading. Like, it's mad stressful. Like, people like people that don't have kids just don't understand how much children cost. Like, I just seen an article saying that children cost $300,000. And I honestly believe that because there's always something. And then the teacher sends a note home saying... Hey, send $5 in for Johnny's field trip. Like, there's always something. And it's so stressful. And <laughs> I just, it's just too much. And then I'm, I'm, okay, Jazz. So you might say, hey, if you couldn't afford to have kids, why did you have them? Because I thought that I was going to be in a relationship now listen i'm not gonna even lie to you like my first baby daddy he ain't shit and i don't like to call say baby daddy like that's like cliche or whatever but like he's a really a sperm donor i've been taking care of my son the whole 13 years he's been alive but i i also have a daughter and honestly, I thought with her father, like, we were going to get married and we were going to be together. Or I wouldn't be a single parent of two. With two baby daddies, okay? So, that there is my situation. And I'm sure people have similar situations as me. And with being in said relationship, I thought we were going to raise these kids together. Now, my daughter's father, he does help out. I'm going to say to the best of his abilities. But, you know, it's hard co-parenting. Co-parenting is, is very difficult. <laughs> it's a whole... It's a whole... This is a whole... Co-parenting is a whole video in itself. And I can go on and on about it. How do I deal with the stress of being a single parent? Well, I like to work out. I like to cook. And lately, my biggest coping mechanism for my stress, cleaning and organizing has been a big stress relief for me lately. But yeah, the struggle is real. And, you know, honestly, if I could give advice to anyone, it would be honestly to focus on your career and start having your kids in your 30s. If I could go back and talk to myself in my early 20s, I would say, Jazz, you know, take your time, focus on your career, get your money, take trips, enjoy your life in your 20s buy a house in your late 20s and meet somebody that you know wants the same things as you and not don't date somebody just for potential like yeah that would be my advice because honestly your 20s is for building a life for yourself and focusing on your career you know getting that undergraduate degree getting that master's and now to live a good life and not struggle I feel like you got to get your master's your master's master's no but I really honestly feel like you get got to get your master's or your doctorates or above like to live a comfortable life 
because the economy is not getting any any easier. It's not getting any less expensive. Um, you have to plan for the worst and save for rainy days. And that's honestly what I would tell myself in my early 20s. And I love my kids. Neither are one of them. Or I don't look at them as mistakes. Now, like, you don't necessarily, like, have to go to college because remember the game of life, the people that go straight to the workforce always usually pan out better than people that go to college. Like, there's honestly, like, a lot of trade schools that, you know, you can learn a trade, like, become an electrician, uh, electrician or a welder, and you could come out making 50000 a year, which is that's... That's decent money. Um, but yeah, I mean, just kind of focus on your career before you have kids because it's very stressful to be still climbing the the corporate ladder and trying to be a parent at the same time. And that's not even like with two parents in the home, like being a single parent. And there's not enough programs out here. You're trying to... There's not enough daycare programs. There's not definitely not enough after school programs. And like what I don't understand it if the community knows that that there's a need for these programs, why aren't they establishing them? Like, you know, I pay money, I pay taxes just like any other person. Like set this up. Like and and it upsets me because I'm out here, I work, I work 40 hours a week, and I was going to school full-time, I was going to school, I was working full-time and going to school, you know, and, you know, help me help myself, like, I'm not asking for a handout, I just need a program for my daughter to attend, so I can work and make money for my I want to do better. I'm going to do better. Like, I'm going to get there regardless. But help me help myself. I just feel like the system sets sets lower income people up to fail. Like, I feel like it's crabs in a barrel. Like, I just honestly feel like there's not enough programs to help people do better, you know. There should be more programs helping people, you know, with their finances. If you know, if you're not good with money, like helping having classes to help them figure out how to invest their money and save their money and you know, cuz financial freedom is everything. It's everything. I feel like as soon as you start making a little bit more money, they, they, I feel like as soon as you start making a little bit more money, like social services, social security, like the government automatically is like, oh, you're doing great now. You don't need any more help. Like, oh, let me take all your support. That sucks. Like there's no wean off process. There's no class to help you manage your money. Because they don't teach us how to do that in school. All they care about is SOLs and standardized testing. Like, I'm, it, it's just frustrating, you know. And I was raised by a single mom. I mean, I had a stepdad in the home, but, like, he passed away when I was in ninth grade. You know, when I really needed those adulting skills. And no fault to my to my mom. Definitely no fault to my mom because she was out working and providing for our family and doing what she had to do. But honestly, a big... I'm not going to lie. All of my 20s was spent reparenting myself because when I got out of college, I was just a lost lamb. Like, I was, I was, I was lost. I didn't know what the right from left. I didn't know how to be an adult. I I don't know. I'm just I'm on a tangent. I'm ve- I'm venting, but yeah. Moral of the story is: 
being a single mom can be a a single parent. It's a gift and a curse. It's a gift because, like, getting that little hug at the end of the day at work, when you go pick your kid up from daycare, it's everything. It's life. Holding their little hand. And you feel their little hand in your hand. And, like, they're the only person that heard your heart beat from the inside of you. Being a parent is such a blessing. And I'm glad that my kids chose me to be their mom. But it's honestly the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And I take it day by day. And I take my job as a mom serious. Everything that I felt like lacked in that lack. Everything I feel like that was lacking in my childhood, I try to give it to my kids. I love them so much. Like, words can't describe. My kids save my life. Without my kids, I don't think I would be going back to school. I don't think I'd be striving for the better. I don't think I would have started my YouTube channel. I just wouldn't be the person I am today. So yes, they saved my life. And with that being said, it's your girl Jazz Excess. And I want you to remember to always live in excess. Until next time.